Hey, what's good, peeps? Welcome to the channel. In the Black Adam movie, we saw some DC characters make their live action debuts. So in this video, we'll get to know the comic book origin of Adam Smasher. So with no more delaying, let's get right to it and find out who is Adam Smasher. His true name is Albert Rothstein. Albert's grandfather, Dr. Terry Curtis, was an atomic research scientist. One day, while conducting an experiment, things went horribly wrong. An accident occurred, which had dreadful results. The accident led to his wife dying and his daughter Terry being exposed to nuclear radiation. It would also be the reason his grandson Albert would develop superhuman abilities. As Dr. Curtis desperately searched for a way to save his daughter's life, he was approached by the ultra-humanite, who offered him his help in saving his daughter. Dr. Curtis reluctantly accepted the offer to save his daughter's life. The ultra-humanite upheld his end of the bargain and stabilized Terry and saved her from dying. Dr. Curtis, to uphold his portion of the bargain, was transformed into a super-powered being and was forced to become a criminal. He was known as Cyclotron. Curtis followed orders and went along with it as long as he could, but lost his life trying to put an end to the ultra-humanite. Witnessing his heroism, Al Pratt the Atom and Danette Riley, Firebrand, took in his daughter Terry and raised her. Terry grew up and got married to Philip Rothstein. They later had their son Albert. Albert's dad Philip passed away during the Vietnam conflict when Albert was very young. Young Albert was small for his age, which led him to being bullied in school. His godfather, Al Pratt, happened to come for a little visit. While he was there, he revealed to Albert that he was the superhero, Adam, and offered him the chance to come train with the other children of his fellow JSA team members, which were referred to as the JSA Brats. Albert happily accepted. That summer, he began training under the watch of his godfather. Due to his irradiated blood that had been passed down to him from his mother, he began a growth spurt that didn't stop until he graduated high school. By that time, he stood seven foot six and had superhuman strength. When some of the children of the JSA members decided to make their own superhero group, he joined going by the name Nuclon. He stayed with Infinity Inc. until they disbanded. After some self-reflection, Albert decided to reinvent himself. He donned a new costume and new codename of Atom Smasher. Adam has superhuman strength and durability. Later, after absorbing more radiation, he learned he was able to control his molecular structure. By decreasing his molecular density, he can phase through things, and increasing it ups his durability. He can also increase his size, which also increases his strength. A short time later, he joined the JSA and became a valuable member of the team. When Black Adam decided to reform himself, he joined the JSA. Adam Smasher and Black Adam developed an ongoing rivalry. They eventually ended up becoming good friends. As time passed, Adam Smasher slowly became tired of the JSA's moral code with villains. And when the villain Cobra was released, Adam Smasher and Black Adam left the JSA in protest. They then helped each other settle some personal scores. Black Adam killed Cobra for Adam Smasher, and Adam Smasher killed the dictator of Kandak for Black Adam. Adam took rule of Kandak, and Adam Smasher stayed there along with him. But as time passed, Adam Smasher began to doubt Adam's tactics and motives. When Adam Smasher returned home, he was put on trial and imprisoned for his crimes. While he was serving his time, he was approached by Amanda Waller, and she recruited him into her suicide squad, who were sent to apprehend Black Adam. The team failed that mission, and Adam Smasher was bested by Black Adam. He was later given a pardon by Amanda Waller. He returned to the JSA and asked for a second chance. Despite some hesitancy by the members, they granted him that second chance. Adam Smasher is determined to honor the legacy of his godfather. So what do you think about Adam Smasher? How do you like how he was portrayed in the DCEU? If you want to check out some more origins of the characters that were in the Black Adam movie, go ahead and click on the Black Adam playlist. Well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm Audi. Peace.